Hey everybody, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to talk to you today about monitor isolation pads and why I think they're awesome. I mentioned this in the uh, video about setting up your studio monitors. However, I think they deserve their own video because I had a cool experience with these and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, first off, what are monitor isolation pads? Well, the most common one, the one I've had for years, are from Arlex. If you're familiar with Arlex, they make cool acoustic treatment products. Boom, this is them. It's just foam but it's made in a way that's just wide enough to hold a set of speakers and also has these cool inserts that let you change the angle. So if your speakers are down below you, you can turn it around like this and angle them up. If your speakers are up above you and need to angle down, you can just remove this one. Now they angle down and they get caught on that lip right there. Super cool. Or if they just need to be flat like mine, you set them like this and they're perfectly flat and level. So what's the point of these? Okay, let me just give you, uh, I'll explain it by telling you a story. Back when I worked at uh, Sweetwater, the first time I heard of these, I'd never heard of this before. And what they do is it's called decoupling. It decouples the speaker from whatever surface it's on so the speaker doesn't resonate with that surface and create other frequencies and muddy up the low end of that speaker. By putting it on top of these, you're essentially separating the speaker from the desk or the stand or whatever else is underneath it. So what happens is it the vibrations get absorbed by the foam and they don't transmit down into the surface beneath. So it separates the speaker, it kind of floats the speaker, and you've got a huge bass response boost as a result of it. It sounds, well, hang on, I'll tell you how it sounds. So back to my story. I was working at Sweetwater and I got a pair of these because everybody was talking about how great they are. I didn't even have any good speakers at the time. I had these, this guy. Remember old Rolando, the crap speaker? Um, that was my, <laughs> that was my studio monitor. Awesome. So I got a pair of these and I thought there's no way this little three inch speaker is going to sound any better. So I went home, stuck these underneath and there's two of these. So I had a left and a right, stuck these under both and turned on some music. And I was, I, I kid you not, I was blown away by how much better it sounded. This little crap speaker sounded worlds better, probably tw Eh, almost twice as, twice as better? <laughs> Sounded twice as good with these monitor isolation pads, these Mo pads underneath. Because, and, and here's what it sounded like. Set those down. Uh, it just, obviously with a three inch speaker, it doesn't have a lot of bass. But with these pads, it was almost a passable amount of bass. It was enough to hear what the bass and kick drum were doing in the mix. It was just, it was unbelievable. So instead of them sitting on my desk and resonating with the desk and causing this kind of a low mid muddiness, just by lifting them up a couple inches on top of some foam made a huge difference in the sound. Now, you don't have to buy monitor isolation pads, Mopads are the ones that monitors, uh, Editor's Keys makes, but you can do whatever you want. Just do something, get some sort of absorption underneath your speakers. You can use whatever you, any sort of absorptive material that you want. These are great because they're already made for you and they make the, your life a lot easier, but you can do whatever you want and it makes a huge Mongous difference. If it makes a big difference on a little crap speaker over here, imagine how much bigger of a difference it makes on actual decent sized studio monitors. It's awesome. Go check them out.